Let's take a look at some England marks, uh, shall mm. we, Robbo? I imagine they're not particularly high. I'm intrigued to see what maybe you gave uh, Harry Kane. Harry Kane coming in a five. Yeah, well, uh, the reason I gave Walker an eight is that apart from the goal, the first goal where he was a bit, he didn't see the uh, Perisic coming across him. I thought he was outstanding, made lots of his runs. His speed is. His speed to get in behind Trippi. I thought Trippier played well for much of the game. In the first half, he was free to run forward. He wasn't taken back so much by uh, Perisic. Um, I thought McQuire did okay, but Stones, when you want somebody to dominate the ball from the back, which he's meant to be doing, when they were struggling, he couldn't get in the game. Deli Ali didn't play well enough, and he had too much work to do at times, You're trying to get in between three players. Sterling was a threat in behind. Young, I didn't think, had his best game. Rebic gave him a few problems, and Lingard, again, had too much to do in that midfield area. Stones at fault for the Manzukic goal? Uh, yes, absolutely. First of all, he just didn't read the danger, he was static, and then he tried to blame everybody else, which is something I don't like defenders doing. Take responsibility. He was too slow, he didn't see Mandzukic in behind him. Not good enough. What happened to Harry Kane today, Craig? Well, Vida and, Mo and, uh, and Lovren snuffed him out with Brozovic in front, but I tell you what, when, when you're getting 60 yard balls pumped up to you all the time, it's not easy. But even when he was, in, was at his feet, he didn't look comfortable, he didn't look his normal sharp self. I thought Sterling looked the sharper of the two running in behind. Yes, he, in the final third, sometimes it can be frustrating, but at least it looks like something mm. might happen. Yeah. Uh, I thought Ali was poor again and hasn't looked fit. Lingard couldn't get in the game. And the, the two of them, they, they, they're, they're not two players that are going to take a game by the scruff of the neck, unlike what Croatia have got. They've got three midfielders in there, one Brozovic from Inter Milan, who's a natural defensive midfielder. Then you've got Rakitic and Modric, who will take... A game at the very highest level by the scruff of the but neck. That's you really have to feel deal. a little bit sorry for both those, Deli Ali and Lingard, because they had a, a really difficult job when they didn't have the possession. Because they was the, the one thing when you're playing with a, a three a, a, at the back, you're yep. with two wing backs, you're playing with two up front, it means any switch of play, your wide midfield players, which Deli Ali was one and Lingard was the other, are caught in between everybody. They have to go out and Vasalko was coming forward, Deli has, has to get out there. As soon as he gets out, they play inside, now he has to get back in alongside Modric and try and deal with that. He then has to go in behind his fullback. He was doing a lot of running without any success whatsoever. And he was expected to make forward runs as well. And the same with, with Jesse Lingard on the other side. It was almost impossible. Job. And that's why Gareth Southgate had to change the tactics before they got the equaliser. Because it was obvious at some point a cross was going to come in the box because they had so much freedom down there. But, that, but then, then Robbo, you've got, you've got Young and Trippier on, on either side as but well. They, they've got the you, two wingers there, you've got and, and all they did is push right back on, onto the midfield. Mandzukic playing up front on his own. Mm -hmm. A back three mm -hmm. seemingly taking care mm -hmm. of, of the one. To have to not be able to find any kind of uh, any kind of possession, any kind of passing lane through through midfield, I, I thought it was just poor from England mm. England throughout. Nobody was able to, to get on the ball in, in any kind of in any kind of area just to string a couple of passes. I would say they and, bottled it. Some of the England players absolutely bottled it. with the, the players at the back. I'm, I'm going I'm to excuse Harry uh, Harry Maguire because I thought he did want to try and play forward. The midfield players, rather than getting on the half turn, so when the ball's coming into them, they can play it into the front. So they're now passing into Harry Kane and, and Raheem. Sterling from 15, 20 yards away. They're going back to the centre half. John Stones doesn't want to play it forward, so he goes back to the goalkeeper. You deal with it, and Jordan Pickford has but, to but go. But wait, along. this was supposed to be different, wasn't it? It wasn't it supposed was. to be pressure. Everyone's supposed to be having fun. It was supposed to be more relaxed. Mm -hmm. They got pressure, pressurised when they went one nil up. Suddenly, that, that fear factor came into their game. Which but why? It when have done. you're one nil up, surely it, that's I know. when it you, should it, be. They needed that second goal, and suddenly, when Croatia started to dominate the game, and then the midfield started to run it, then the switches of play happened. That's when Gareth Southgate, in my view, had to just tweak the system. He could have put Raheem Sterling slightly out to one side yeah. and, and grab one of the other midfield players to tuck in. Then they wouldn't have been able to switch the play. Raheem Sterling has got the pace and energy to go and support Harry Kane from a wider position. He didn't make that change and I felt really sorry for, for Deli Alli. He didn't play well enough. I felt sorry for Lingard. He didn't play well enough but he had no chance to play well.